The official Hall of Fame announcement is next week. We will be up in Cooperstown for this show Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. We'll announce the voting results right here on MLB Network. This year, not a blockbuster first year class hitting the ballot, but there are some good candidates and we are saying it's now time to start evaluating starting pitchers a little differently. We give Mark Burley some Cooperstown justice. For 15 years, Mark Burley averaged 215 innings a season and had 30 or more starts each and every year. He fell fewer than two innings shy of having 200 innings for each and every one of those 15 years. So we just need to think about how valuable that is. Before we go into the normal methodology and I talk war and ERA plus and everything else, think of running a franchise and in an offensive era, big hitting era, getting a pitcher who gives you 30 starts a year for 15 straight years. Real world thinking now, that's a foundation player. Let's be as fair as possible. Most of the starters most recently inducted into the hall, Randy Johnson, Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, Tom Glavin, all debuted in the 80s. Pedro debuted in 1992. Mark Burley, he debuted in 2000. It's a very different era. Run scoring is higher, PEDs all around, bullpen starting to take over. Tough time to be a starting pitcher. So let's focus on Burley's actual colleagues. Here are the war leaders for pitchers who debuted in 1995 or later. Justin Verlander, Zach Greinke, Clayton Kershaw, all three should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, even Greinke. Roy Halladay is already in. Then you have a group that's right in that same neighborhood, right? Together. CC Sabathia, Andy Pettit, Mark Burley, right around 60 war. Max Scherzer, Cole Hamels are still active, still building their cases, but realize Sabathia, Pettit, Burley. They are the next tier down, but adjacent to the surefire Hall of Famers. So maybe you draw your Hall of Fame line above them. Maybe, though, it should be just below them. Moving forward, throwing 200 innings for 15 straight years is going to sound crazy, like it's Old Hoss Radburn or something. But Burley just, just did it. So let's go to run prevention. I'm again using pitchers who debuted in the wild card era, 1995 or later, and no active pitchers since ERA Plus will drop in the decline phase of a career. Johan Santana is number one. Halliday is two. Roy Oswalt is third. Santana and Oswalt have already fallen off the Hall of Fame ballot with fewer than 5% of the vote. That's unfair to both of them. They didn't pitch in the 1970s. They pitched in the 2000s. It's very different. By the way, Tim Hudson is on the leaderboard. He makes his debut on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. He was an excellent pitcher. He's ahead of Burley. And once again, there's that group, and you can see it. Pettit, Burley, Sabathia. Felix Hernandez, by the way, not officially retired. He's not on this list, but he's right there with them at 117. So they're all there with, I'm just going to throw this in, Cliff Lee and Chris Carpenter, right? Mm -hmm. Lee and Carpenter, think about it. Those were not small-time guys. They were big-time players. So what am I saying? I'm saying if you're not honoring the guys with the high peak, and they're not, Johan, Oswalt, Lee, and Carpenter, and you're also not honoring the guys with longevity, with durability, like Burley, Sabathia, and Pettit, then you're not honoring many pitchers. Kershaw, Verlander, they're above the line. That's obvious. But it is already time to rethink the standards for pitchers. 300 wins isn't happening anymore. Now, I'm not saying it's clear cut. Burley, though, was top 10 in ERA plus five times in his career. Top 10 in pitcher war six times. Those are good numbers, but they're not legendary. He pitched well in the 2005 postseason when the White Sox won the World Series. He started game two in the World Series, got the last out in game three of the World Series, coming out of the bullpen to close out the 14th inning against the Astros. And every year, the White Sox got a good 30 to 35 starts of a pretty good ERA most years out of Mark Burley. Just about every single year. And now he's on the Hall of Fame precipice on the border.